what I usually do, I measure things out. I usually kind of cut my pieces of plastic the same size, same design. I usually come up with a design concept, guys. And once I get my design pattern, like for my plot play, I kind of like go in and measure things out. You know, then I'll get the scribing lines, like, you know, adding things in here. You see we have some putty around here, some scribing lines. Now, of course, we're going to be doing some kit bashing too, so I got some different uh, other kits, like from an HG. I think this was from, I don't know what this was from. This was probably from a, a Gushin or something like that, a HG Gushin or something like that I had. And um, Double negative. so this is an extra um, kit bashing pieces, like just back here with the uh, fence and some of the plot plate pieces I just cut out. But like the back thing parts right here are going to be used for our thrusters, because there's Ghiradoga, if you ever seen uh, Shards Counter Strike at the end when they're helping uh, Am Amaro push the uh, asteroid away, um, you know, some of those guys actually float off and uh, die. But as for this guy, this is a Super Ghiradoga. This is kind of like my story of the Super Ghiradoga flown by no other than the Zig Zion. Zig Zion or printed my Zig Zion emblems out with my photon printer. So I'll be using my photon printer. Um, I got some pilot characters that I printed out, customized. I got some stuff I want to do for my diorama. So stay tuned, guys.
supplemental fans back again, and here we go. Got the uh, Ghirardelga all finished up. For you, I did some customizations and stuff for you guys. Did some 3D printing. Did some uh, scribe, custom scribe lines. Um, so let's just take a look at what we got, man. We got, uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite kits that I customized so far. We got it all done up. We got the uh, Ghirardelga P Bandai version, unicorn um, version of the uh, Ghirardelga. Um, so I'll just kind of show you guys some different customizations, different things we did with backpacks and burner or thrust systems here we gave it a nice awesome paint job so let's get into it let's take a look at what we got here we got some nice little panel lines and some nice little plot plate and we did some 3d printing for this and so we're going to be kind of talking about the different elements that we added onto this kit just to make it a little bit better this is probably one of my favorite kits to put together um i actually like the LED system that actually is in place for the head module system this is kind of one of the newer uh bandai LED light system. Of course, you guys know I'm a friend of the old 2000 kits that doesn't have LED lights already, so I can actually customize my own. But having this kit um, with the uh, pre-lighting mechanism that you can kind of put in there yourself, it actually helped save some time. 